When we moved to the farm, it really felt like we had stumbled across the Kiwi dream. Young couple on the farm, starting a family, working hard, living in nature as a team with the animals. My name is Jessica Strathdee and I live in rural Canterbury, New Zealand. I spent four years living and working on a dairy farm. I started out just doing a bit of relief milking here and there, I did, and then I did the very first calving season, the fall season. Gosh, I remember it so well because we, we left Dunedin and we, and we moved to Canterbury to be on the farm. And Chifundu and I moved into the house and I remember I painted the whole inside of the house because it was, it was a dairy farm cottage. So it was in a horrific state and like dogs had peed all through it and it was just, it had, it had been pretty trashed. And I remember really making a home for us. And I remember feeling very like happy for the first time in a long time. I felt like we were where we were supposed to be. And I remember going and milking the cows and I felt a certain sense of feminist connection with them. But it wasn't until my first morning in the calf pens, it dawned on me how, of how I'd been getting that milk. And it wasn't, a, and I realised it wasn't a sense of feminism. I was, I was taking their babies to get that milk, and it, I realised how sinister it was. I had a realisation one day when I was sitting in my living room and I was looking outside the window and the maternity paddock was right outside our house and there were the cows with the babies that they had birthed through the night and I had woken up to watch them cleaning the afterbirth of their babies until it was my partner that came with the tractor and the cage to remove those babies from their mums and I had a huge realisation around the paradox between the rights of me to feed my own child and having full autonomy over my body and then watching the rights of the cows and their babies being completely destroyed. I can still hear cows calling for their babies from our house. And some night, like, I just won't even go outside at night because I know I'll hear it. On a still night, I'll hear it coming from the dairy farms around us. And I can't believe it because I have to, I go inside to my babies. And I know that they're out there calling for theirs and they're not gonna see them. Um, because Chifunda just knew that I couldn't, I couldn't be there a moment longer. And we bought our little house, like still in Canterbury, but across the, across the region. And um, yeah, and so I've been an animal rights activist ever since. Using the milk that was actually meant for their babies, but it does not need to be this way. An article, as in Women's Day, came out and I think the heading was um, Farming Turned Me Vegan and that was quite quite huge in 2017 because I think up until that point I don't even think veganism was particularly even talked about in a positive light. And then I was asked to talk that year at the Vegan Expo and then that went online and within a few days I had picked up half a million views and that was just a few couple of minutes of me talking about being a breastfeeding mum. be able to nourish my child from my own body lightly. I guess I see my role as an animal rights activist as more a, like a conduit for mothers, especially parents, not just women, but parents, to understand 
that we are all biological beings who instinctually want to protect and look after our offspring. We're all the same. Becoming a mum was, I mean, yeah, probably one of the best things to ever happen to me. It was just extremely confronting to be doing that while I was denying other mothers their children. And the pure, the like, just the love of having a baby. And I was like, I was so happy. I was probably the happiest I've ever been when I first had my, my firstborn. And it's just very mixed up with being in an industry that's built on exploiting that and built on wrecking the mother-child bond. best way I know how with my kids is to be relatively open and honest at a level that's appropriate to them. But I mean every day I'm sure they're going out there and hearing things that are contrary to what their dad and I are teaching them. I want to be for them to be going to their rural schools and showing other kids how normal and natural it is just to live vegan. I believe it's important for other rural families to see a vegan family and see how normal and boring and everyday we are. Yeah, and I believe we will have the ripple effects in the community of other people just seeing it as normal and easy and natural. And if you've got the choice between cruelty or the choice between compassion, why wouldn't you choose compassion? I'm not going to go down accepting this. I'm going to go down fighting for humans and, and animals. Yeah, and fighting for our planet. And I've got little people depending on me to do that. And a whole heap of dairy cows in this country depending on me to do that. And I don't have the option to not have hope. I have to have it and it has to drive me. Mm -hmm.